Western Oregon played uh, really well tonight. They did some things uh, defensively, especially early in the game, that gave us uh, problems. Um, I just uh, hope here in time our team can kind of have a resurgence of energy. Um, I thought that we weren't good enough in that area. Chris Panachero had only two points in the first half and then, uh, what, 24 in the second. What, what did they do uh, to him in the first half that they did in the second? Well, I think they just did some unique things defensively that slowed him down uh, a little bit. We made a couple adjustments uh, at the break, and Chris did a good job responding. The positive side of Ledger, you uh, dominated the boards, uh, including double-doubles by Andy Poling and Ryan Sweet. Comment on that? Yeah, those two guys uh, and some others did a nice job on the offensive glass. We needed to to stay in the game um, on a night where we didn't shoot it as well uh, as we normally did or do. So... Um, those guys on the glass uh, gave us at least a chance there at the end of the game. Is this a particularly tough loss because it comes home in your conference opener? Well, none of them are good, uh, and even worse in conference uh, play. Um, I think in time here we'll be able to regroup. Um, we got to bounce right back tomorrow with practice and get ready for St. Martin's. Yes, you do. Will you do anything different, or what will you do uh, with the guys in the day between to prepare for St. Martin's? Well, I think for us right now, it's more about ourselves than it is who we're playing. Um, I didn't think our desire and passion to be there uh, today is probably where it needed to be. Um, so for us, uh, we've had times this year where we've been really, really good, and most of it has been a direct reflection on our uh, desire to play. Um, I didn't think we had that tonight.